All right, so another example here using the alternating series test. So we've got the series from n equals 1 to infinity, negative 1 to the n times n over 5n plus 6. So in this case, again, if we kind of get rid of the alternating, alternating part, we're left with n over 5n plus 6. So two things we have to look at for this case. We have to think, you know, for, is it decreasing? And the other one is, does the limit as n goes to infinity of this function, does that equal 0? Well, I'm going to answer the second part first. Um, you know, if we take the limit as n goes to infinity uh, of this function, since the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator, again, we've seen these cases. You can always just do L'Hopital's rule on this problem as well, because we have infinity over infinity. But again, if the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator, we can just use the ratio of those coefficients. So our limit's simply going to equal one-fifth. Well, that's not zero. So in this case, the conditions aren't satisfied, and we would simply say that this series diverges. And you can do the same thing at the very beginning. You could simply just take the, you know, use the test for divergence. And uh, when you take the limit of this stuff, it doesn't equal zero. So again, that automatically says our series diverges.